who says basketball isn't a contact sport? Fort Smith Northside guard Derek Shepard doesn't play football but might want to consider joining the Gridiron Grizzlies after surviving this tackle and helping his team roll to a much needed road win at Rogers on Friday. I'm Leland Barclay and it's my privilege to host the River Valley Sports Report where we highlight River Valley athletes and schools. Northside scored 24 points in the third quarter to open up a close game and earned a 72-55 win at Rogers to close out the first half of the double round robin schedule. Northside's Javion Smith swished a three-pointer to open the third quarter and after Rogers' Rex Crowd answered with a three-pointer for the Mountaineers, Northside went on an 11-0 run. The Grizzlies scored five baskets in a two-minute stretch with Denarian Whitmore hitting a mid-range jumper and then scoring inside. Marco Smith took a nice pass from Poon Zavoy and converted a layup. Shepard bagged a tray and Whitmore capped the run with a steal and a layup for a 46-26 lead. Four Grizzlies scored in double digits with Marco Smith scoring 22 points, Whitmore 19, Shepard 16, and Javion Smith 10. We talked to Whitmore after the game about the third quarter in which the Grizzlies were 10 of 13 shooting from the floor. Uh, it was a pretty good one. It was a pretty good one. It was a really big win for us that we really needed. So I'm glad we came out with a big W. Yeah. You guys hit 10 out of 13 in the third quarter. Um, you guys just uh, playing well as a team. What was it like that quarter? Hey, our third quarter is really our the quarter we struggled with the most. So when our focus was coming to the locker room, we were trying to come out so we can get we can have a good third quarter. And our guys, Polo Smith and Derek Shepard, really came clutch for us. You guys had four scores tonight in double digits. How nice uh, is it to, to have that balance? It, pay, it pays off. We've really been working on our shots more this week, and it, you can tell it during the game. Prior to the Grizzlies' win on Friday, the Lady Bears outscored Rodgers in all four quarters and won 56-41. The Lady Bears again flexed their rebounding muscle on Friday with a huge 56-27 edge on the boards. Karis Washington scored 22 points and yanked down 13 caroms. Ariana Gooden scored 10 points and had 9 boards. Sherish Blackman had 6 points and 8 rebounds. Northside finished January in first place in the 6A West. Here are the standings at the end of January. Remember in 6A the top 6 teams advanced to the state tournament. The Greenwood Lady Bulldogs remained in first place in the 5A West with a 65-25 win over Greenbrier on Friday night. The Lady Bulldogs jumped out to 22 points in the first quarter, added 21 in the second quarter, and led 43-17. to Anna Trusty had 21 points and 5 steals, and Maddie Cartwright added 18 points and 7 rebounds. The Bulldogs weren't quite as fortunate on homecoming night, falling 51-43 to to Greenbrier. Tuesday's weekly rivalry night in the 5A West was again canceled due to another winter weather interruption. Heading into February, here are the standings in the 5A West. Remember, in Class 5A, the top four teams are in a berth in the state tournament, so the second half of the round robin should be interesting. It was also supposed to be rivalry night in Fort Smith with Southside hosting Northside. That game, too, was postponed and will be made up on Wednesday, February the 8th. All of the games will be made up, of course, so follow me, Walter Woody, Harold McIlvain, Chip Souza, and Henry Apple on Twitter for all of the updates as they occur on those games. The winter weather also wrecked havoc on the smaller classifications with just one week left in the regular season, so expect those teams to be playing a lot of games over the next 10 days. Even National Signing Day scheduled for Wednesday was somewhat altered. Those signings will still take place when schools return to in-person learning, so pick up the Sunday River Valley Democrat Gazette for full coverage from those signings include from Greenwood, Evan Williams and Jake Glover, from Van Buren, Malachi Henry, Hogan Dunn, Connor Teague, Cooper Jones, Aubrey Willie, Parker Brown, and Riley Lowry, in Charleston where Roy Hudson will sign, to Southside where Cage Castling will sign, to Northside where R.J. Lester, Eric Barrientos, Kyvion Perkins, and Damari Smith will sign to Ozark where Briley Burns and Eli Massingale will also sign. 
That brings us to the weekly segment, Gimme Five. These are the top five performances of the past week in the River Valley. Number one, Jace Washburn scored with 12 seconds left on Friday to leave, lift Boonville to a 48-47 win over Charleston, which was undefeated in the 3A4. Chris Johnson scored 18 points for Boonville. The Paracast then went on the road on Saturday and won at Cedarville 65-60 and had five players in double digits with Raiden Ferguson scoring 16 points, Johnson 12, Dakota Matson 12, Coulter Fisher 10, and Washburn with 13 points and 13 rebounds. Number two, the Northside Lady Bears continue to bludgeon teams on the boards. In their last two games, they out-rebounded Rogers and Springdale by a 119-59 count with 48 offensive boards. The Lady Bears ended the first half of the 6A West double round robin schedule in first place by a single game. Number three, the County Line Indians remained undefeated with an 81-49 win over Ozark Catholic on Friday. Ozark is now 31-0, including 9-0 in the 1A1 West. Number four, the Lavaca Golden Arrows won their ninth straight game, all 2A4 contest, and wrapped up the top seed in the conference tournament with a 56-38 win over Mansfield on Friday. Number five, the Lamar Lady Warriors remained atop the 3A5 with a 61-40 win over Baptist Prep on Friday, improving to 17-2 overall and 8-0 in the conference. It was Lamar's first game in 10 days. Also, congratulations to Charleston head football coach Ricky May, who was named the East head coach of the All-Star Game in June. Also, big congratulations to Greenwood girls coach Clay Reeves, who won his 400th game at Greenwood on Friday night. To keep up with all the basketball action, you will definitely want to check out every day of the Northwest Arkansas and River Valley Democrat Gazette, where you will get Players of the Week, ranking, scores, and notes for the most comprehensive basketball coverage in the state. You'll also want to pick up the Sunday River Valley Democrat Gazette, available all across the River Valley, including eastern Oklahoma, at Walgreens, Harps, Come and Go, and Casey's. Last week's feature was on the long and storied history of the LaFleur County Tournament, the longest-running true county tournament west of the Mississippi River. For many players, including Northside Girls assistant coach Randa Grant, who played at Hal, the tournament is a career highlight. You can subscribe online at nwaonline.com and click on the subscribe button or by calling our customer service line at 479-684-5509. Be sure to follow the River Valley Democrat Gazette Twitter account as well as mine, Walters, and Harold's. You can view and purchase photos from our award-winning Arkansas Democrat Gazette photographers that can be seen and purchased on our website, nwaonline.com slash photo. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. We're going to wrap up this week's River Valley Sports Report with videos from Rogers on Friday. God bless you, and we'll see you next week.